It's Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Gold. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're new here, welcome. So friends, today I am making two seriously simple, easy St. Patrick's Day sweet treats for you. They cannot get any easier than this. I will be making another video for you all that will be a St. Patrick's Day sweet treat tray and I will be sharing all the items that I'm putting on that tray. These two are two of the items that I'm putting on there. I am, um, I say making, but honestly, you'll see. Um, I'm going to be put doing these two. They will go on the tray and I have two other things that I'll be putting together as well to go on that tray and I probably will be sharing those in another video because I don't want this video to be an hour long. So let me go over the ingredients for the first thing. The only thing we're doing friends on this particular one, we are going to make chocolate covered Oreos. Yep, chocolate covered Oreos. So I am doing white chocolate. So I'll be using the uh, almond bark. I just got this at Walmart. And actually, I have some already open, so I'll just be using this that I already have open. This actually will be for the other um, um, dessert or treat that we're doing. So I'll be using that. I did buy the double stuffed Oreos. Um, I just feel like they're a little bit thicker and a little bit more substantial, but you don't have to. You can use the um, regular Oreos. You can also buy the Walmart or Aldi version um, to make this even cheaper if you'd like. And then the last things that I'm doing is I have these little sprinkles here, just little white sprinkles with some clovers. I went to two different stores and I could not find St. Patrick's Day sprinkles. So I'm a little disappointed. I had these from last year, so I'm going to have to make do with what I have. And then the last thing is, whoops, <laughs> I have some green food coloring. I'm going to add that to the white chocolate because I want the Oreo cookie to be, you know, the black part is going to show, part of the black is going to show. Then you're going to have the white, um, I was going to say stuffing, the white filling. And then we're going to have green um chocolate with some sprinkles on it and you'll see why I chose to add green to this when we do our other recipe. So friends, that's it. It's so easy, so simple. This almond bark is um, at Walmart. Right now is a great time to pick it up because of the holidays um, with Easter right around the corner. They have a ton of this out like right in the center aisle with a lot of the Easter um, um, baked goods. So um, if you like to use this and make chocolate covered pretzels and things like that, pick up a couple of them now and that way you have it at a good price. So let's turn the camera down and get this pot started. Okay, as I mentioned friends, I'm going to use what I already have opened from when I done chocolate covered pretzels not too long ago. I just have myself a measuring cup that I'm going to melt this in. Gonna open this up, and this I'm gonna be putting the Oreo cookies on as well. I'm just using it right now to chop this up one. I don't know what's wrong with my voice, friends. Sorry. I'm just cutting this up. I do like to chop it up into smaller bits because it does help with the melting process.
my microwave has a uh, melt button on it, so I'm going to go ahead and use my melt button. If you do not have a melt button, follow the directions on the back of your package of almond bark, and it'll tell you what to do. So, here's my melt button. Chocolate. I'm going to do about six ounces. And then we're going to go ahead, take it out, give it a good stir, and see where we're at when it's done. Okay, my friends, let's see where we're at. Ooh, looks pretty good. I'm going to give it, it's so hard to show white. I'm going to give it a quick stir. Oh yeah, it's melted, so let's get started. All right, my friends, I am just doing a quick stir. Now, as you saw, I did about a half of a block of the almond bark. Because I am doing a tray, so I'm not doing a ton of the uh, cookies. So all we need to do is take a cookie, friends, and this is how simple it is. I'm just dipping it in like that, and that's it. And then putting it down on the part or the wax paper, dipping the excess off. Just sitting it down. I'll take my fork out, get it out of my way, and that's it, friends. It's all I am doing, just like that. Now friends, after I've done a few, I'm going to go ahead and take my sprinkles and just sprinkle a few on there before it starts to um, set up because you don't want it to set up and then your sprinkles won't stick to it. Just enough. Like I said, I, didn't ha I couldn't find them and I did not feel like going to 15 different stores. So we're going to make do with what I have, just like that, okay, and then I'm going to go right back to dipping the rest of my cookies. I do have some, um, oh goodness friends, guess what I forgot to do? <gasps> I forgot to add my um, green in there, oh my word. See, always bloopers. Guess what? We're going to go ahead and add the green in there now. And this way, we'll have some white and green. <laughs> Can you believe it? I totally forgot. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Oh, this actually will work out perfect because we'll have some green and some white. Always a fun time when you're in the browns, at the browns. All right, there we go. Perfect. Exactly, friends. Let's see. <laughs> Oops, that wasn't good. And then I just messed up the other one. You all know, I'm in the kitchen. You're guaranteed 
to have a blooper. It's just kind of how it goes, but that's all right. All right, let's finish this up. There we go, that looks good. And get a little bit of I got some chocolate on and there we go friends look at that not too shabby and you saw how quick and easy it was so let's go ahead and let these set up and I'll clean up everything and then we'll get ready to make our next uh, treat okay so now we're gonna go ahead and make our next sweet treat and we are going to make mint bark yep that's what I said mint bark quick and easy again we're going to be using some of this almond bark. I purchased these mint Oreo cookies. I got these at Walmart. Um, when I first was looking for them, I could only find the mint ones with the bunny rabbit on the um, chocolate cookie part of it. And then my son happened to glance down and he spotted them without that. So they are there. You just kind of got to look a little bit. I have a tray. I just have like a little round pizza tray that I'm going to be using. I have myself a larger bowl so I can melt the chocolate in. And then as I mentioned before, I was going to use these on there, but unfortunately I could not find more. So I'm going to use what I have and then I'm just going to use some of my green um, uh, sugar sparkles to put on there as well. And friends, that's it. That is all it is simple and easy so we're going to turn the camera down and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to cut up my almond bark i do have my little scale because this is a pound and eight ounces and i'm not going to be making that much because i am putting it on a um sweet treat tray so i do not need this isn't like one item that i'm taking to a party or having a party with i'm going to have a lot of sweet treats on this tray so i don't need a huge amount so i'm going to go ahead i'll probably use maybe about a pound of this I think so I'll probably do about a pound so I'm gonna cut it up put it on my little scale and weigh it and then we'll go ahead and um, move on to the next step so let me get my scale and we will get started okay I just have some paper down oh this is interesting the last time I bought this it had like a little tray underneath of it I don't know that's okay no biggie all right, let's go ahead and cut up. Actually, I think the last time I bought this, I got it at Aldi, come to think of it. So my scale is on. I'm gonna go ahead and... All right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. I'm gonna put this in here for now and then I'll put it in a Ziploc bag. So we'll put that to the side. So what I'm gonna do, just like I did the other one, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up into smaller pieces just so it'll melt a little bit easier. And before I put this in to melt it, I want to go ahead and break up my um, cookies. So let's go ahead and open up our mint cookies. I'm going to do start with about 12 cookies, I guess. Two, four, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, boy, do they smell minty. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do is just like cut them. I'm not chopping them in little, little tons of pieces. I might go like maybe half like that. Oops. All right, 
so now I'm going to go ahead and take my tray and I'm just going to lay these out on my tray fairly close but with some space between it and what we're going to do is pour the chocolate over it once we melt it okay Just like that. And then I have a little bit left and we're going to top it once we um, pour the chocolate over it. Okay. Spread it out just a little bit more like that. And we can readjust it if need be. Okay. Now let's go ahead, take this, put it in the microwave. This is going to take a little bit to melt and we'll go ahead and melt it. And then we'll go ahead and pour our chocolate over it. I have this here. I think I'm just going to make it easier. I just put that in there. Pour this in here. Learn from my mistakes. Put it in something that has a handle. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. All right, I think it, I should have done this in the first place. All right, this gives me a little more control. Let's go ahead and pour it right over top. Go. I'm trying to stay in the middle a little bit here. Okay, and then I can I know where I'm at. I can shove these in a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm just gonna fill in that empty space between them. Like that. Go. Like I said, you want to start in the middle, just so you know. There we go. Look at that. Let's throw that in there. Okay. Let's bring that in and get the last of that over here. There we go. And we're just going to take our our um, spatula, and just kind of smooth it out a little bit, and then we can thin it out a little bit now, so it's not as thick. Can you see that? How we can just spread that out. There we go, just like that. And now I'm bringing it out, so we don't want it too thick. Nice little. Pieces just like that. I hope you guys can see all that. There we go. Over here, I'm a little bit thicker. And now I can just take these pieces here and throw on top, just like that. There we go. And fill in nicely back one there so there we go perfect now let's take those little chocolate pieces that are still left Put that there piece there a little bit thick there so I'm gonna spread that out why don't you put the tops on you want to be careful you don't want to put too much and then I'm going to go ahead and take my little um, sprinkles and I'm just going to sprinkle them on top just like that. Just go ahead and use up what I have and then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of the sugar on there just to add a little bit of color. I'm not going to go too too crazy with it. I just want to add a little bit more green and just like that friends just like that and this will have to go in the fridge just for um, about 45 minutes or so I want to make sure that it sets up nice before I break it apart and let me give you a close-up of it white's always hard to see so let me go ahead and get this in the fridge and then when we're done we'll come back we'll break it up and I'll show you what they all look like 
All right, it smells very minty. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right. I am just going to break it apart just like that. So all we're doing, friends, just like that. Just kind of little pieces people can pick up and munch on. Does that look delicious? Mm. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. And this will go on my tray, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put this in an airtight container until um, I put my tray together, which will be in a day or two. See that up close. All right, my friends, so here they are close up. Like I said, you could use the mint cookies and just do white on the mint cookies, and that way the stuffing or filling is green if you like mint and you don't, you know, don't want to do the bark, you could do that, or you can do both, whatever. So that's what it looks like. All right, my friends, I really hope you enjoyed coming along with we, along with we, <laughs> along with me while I was making some St. Patrick's Day sweet treats for our um, sweet treat tray that I will be doing very shortly. So friends, thanks so much. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider, why can I not talk today? If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing as it does truly great me. <sighs> really, 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 really. Let's try this again. Please consider subscribing as it does greatly help me out. And if you have subscribed, please don't forget to hit that little bell because it will notify you every time I have a new video coming out. And also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because that does help me out as well. And please follow me over on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and Pinterest. I am very active on those social media sites as well, especially Instagram and Facebook. There is a lot of other content that I post over there that I do not do on um, YouTube. So friends, please consider following me over there as well. So friends, thanks so much and I will see you next time. Bye.